Hi guys, I hope you're having a good day. This is Teddy. For this video, I'm going to answer some of the frequently asked questions about the game State of Survival. But before that, I just wanted to say thank you for the support. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for you to be updated for the videos. First is how to change your name from Survivor to your preferred game name. First thing you do is click your profile picture, reside your battle power and your VIP, and click that pen icon there while Miho is jumping and making a fog. Input your name that you wanted for your profile or your character. And then you can buy it using buy caps or if you're skint on buy caps you can go to your alliance store and buy a chief rename that will only cost you a thousand how to get your alliance points simply by donating to your alliance tech how to bind your account go to your profile profile next to your powder power And then click settings go to your account it will show you bind or switch but first click the bind account you can bind it by your Facebook your Google or your VK account the importance of binding your account is for your account or your character to be safe either it's being hacked or your phone gets stolen or it's broken you can just log in to any PC, any laptop, or any phone if you wanted to. How to make a second character? Either you wanted it to your main or your farm. As usual, go to character management on your settings. And there you can find a list of your account or of your characters. I made a few because I need it for my videos. So click. Don't forget that every state you can have a maximum of two account oh, two characters per state and then you can have a maximum of characters for 20 so if you're that dedicated to the game you can make 20 account 20 accounts or characters per account and then two characters per state next how to switch to another account in case you wanted to play on your other phone or your tablet or your laptop all you gotta do is click your account and switch account and then log in or log in by switching it either your Facebook your Google or your VK account that's easy and it will automatically redirect you to your or your old game will be downloaded next how to hide gears or stay anonymous in the chat all you gotta do is go to your settings and then click game it will show you the settings so music either you want to turn it off or the sound effects you can turn it off gear display if you don't want your gear to be seen by other players you can turn it off as well display building names you can turn it off and then the good one is everyone was asking where why is there an anonymous in your alliance chat even if you don't have any car any players that is anonymous that's how you hide you do it you click that button and then every time you you craft a chief or a hero gear it will show you anonymous how to activate your frame skin go to your profile and then click that little icon there and then click your preferred skin to use and then activate it you all of this skin stuck out but make sure to activate all them. You can easily go back to default. For now, I just love using default and I don't want to use any skin or frame skin. So next, let's talk about morale speed ups. So everyone was wondering if well, how this morale speed ups work. All you gotta do is go to your alliance and then finish some of the tasks, get points. For example, for every 100 points that you make, 6 will go to yours 
and then the 10 will go to your alliance members same goes with your alliance members playing it if they are doing tasks and you have a 100 and then once they collected 100 points 10 of that will go to yours and six will go that to theirs How to deposit your bio cups this is one of the questions on how so that building where you can how where you can deposit or as an incubator is your research building a service as your bank so you can deposit by one day 15 days 7 days or 30 days and it will give you like for 30 days it will give you 50 percent so if you deposited 3,000 buy cups after 30 days you will have 6,000 where to check your alliance activity log of course you go to your alliance and then in your alliance interface you can find alliance members and manage click that manage next time for the next video i'm going to show you the other features of alliance so go to manage and then click logs and then by clicking it it will show you different logs about your alliance so the first one is battles this will show you who are being attacked by your enemies of who are your alliance members are attacking the people is the log about promotion being kicked out being added to the alliance or being demoted news is about your territory every time your leader moves a, or move or build a territory or a building it will show you there it. next is the alliance tech this will show you what are the texts that are being researched by your leaders preferably r5 or r4 the alliance store is the lugs of who buys in your alliance store and who refills it the third one is the events this will show you the different lugs about influencer trap either if you win it or you defeat it or you got no you didn't kill it or anything how to navigate the new map so the new map is a little bit uh, tough to navigate for the first time but eventually if you get a hang of it after a few minutes or after an hour you'll be good to go so all you gotta do is the endowed and infected research or is still there same goes with the endo but the map on the top of the talent is not there anymore and for you to do that you just need to do a zoom in and zoom out so there are three choices by zooming out it will give you alliance resources and then threats if you put a click on that alliance it will show you your alliance area and the blue one is where your alliance and your alliance hive like within the blue area that's where you get the buffs from your alliance type so the green little one is you the orange one is your leader and then the yellow one is your his headquarters when you zoom that out it will show you other alliances at the same time the fortresses and then the capital so let's go zoom in and zoom out it's kind of challenging at the same time if your phone is not really that good or your internet is not really that fast the lag is your enemy so there let's go find myself and then zoom out again just to there so if you click the resources area it will give you different shades of green from light green to moss green or darker green and the darker the green is the higher the level of your resources 
and the lighter the color of the green the lowest or the lower is the level of the resources so for the threats there is a specific uh, timing like when you zoom in a little or you zoom out a little or you zoom out massive it will show you the plague zone and the plague all purple and then when you zoom in a little it will add the pn and when you zoom it like really really close it will show you the infected so for now we're seeing the plague and it's easier to find then we zoom it uh, in a little and it will show you the infected fiend. So that's it guys, I hope you find the answers that you've been looking for in this video. And if you have other questions or other suggestions or other requests of what kind of video I'm going to make, please comment below and I will try to make those videos. Have a nice weekend guys, bye!